Hi, this is DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Today I'm going to be working with cells, as in my last two videos for the Creation Kit Basics, I just covered the user interface and the render window. So we move on to the cell view down here after I've loaded my Skyrim ESM. And as you can see, you get a whole list of all the cells within the game. And now you've got two types of cell, you've got interior cell and exterior cell. Interior cell is its own little sort of void where you won't be able to see the outside world and it's usually accessed by a low door so it's it's inside it's a dungeon or a, a house or anything like that so none of the outside world the sky anything like that landscape is visible whereas the exterior cell is exact opposite uh, it is the outside world it's your landscape your sky it's your actual world space so uh, we're going to have a look at interior cells. Our interior and exterior cell options are pretty much the same. Interior cells tend to have more options. As uh, exterior cells settings are judged by the actual world space, which I won't be going into in this tutorial, but I might do one later down the line. So we're just going to focus mostly on interior cells. So as you can see, uh, I went under interiors in cell view, which is usually the uh, default that loads up in the kit and if I alternate click and edit as I just have uh, you can see that you get a number of tabs and you get a list of the interior cells and whatever cell you have highlighted is the cell that you are going to be editing so say we wanted to start up a brand new mod we we're going to make a, a nice little interior cell a little dungeon or something like that then we'd want a brand new cell now the way that most people tend to do this is they find this cell here called AAA markers they alternate click and they duplicate then they remove the stuff out and then they start from there uh, that's not actually the best way of doing it it's a way that I did it uh, for a great many months when I was starting to use the kit I did it that way but there is a a more professional way of doing it if you go into world and cells at the top there then you'll get the same result as clicking edit on a cell and if you just alternate click anywhere within the uh, list of cells here and click new then you can go ahead and start a completely fresh new cell with no other links to it now I'm going to call this DF127 Dark Fox Cell 01 just to be awkward uh, usually your IDs for your cells uh, want to be for testing purposes straight away you might actually want to put that something quite short just give it like a little code number or something so when you're going to test it you can whack that code number in quite easily and load your cell up for testing then when you're actually finished you might want to go ahead and rename that cell and set that up to be called something more appropriate so I'm just going to call it that for now cell IDs are pretty obvious now as you can see we've got these tabs as I said earlier and we've got common data now under common data I'm just going to whiz through the most common options as this is still a basics tutorial I'm not going into too much detail over cells so the location these are located in your object window under world data and location and if we just double click one of these what a location does is it keeps track of all the location reference types, the cells linked to it and the actors within, stuff like X markers, all the objects usually get catalogued and listed in this location ref type here. It also keeps track of who owns the place sort of thing or not so much owns the place but it's just sort of um, keywords that are linked to objects within it and keywords to the actual location itself so it's all the data about the the place basically and you can link this to more than one cell as you can see because it lists cells so it can be an overall thing if you've made your own little world and it's called say I've got my Millwater Retreat then I've got the I've got a few sections to Millwater Retreat I've got the actual boathouse I've got the mill so I'd have one big location maybe called um, Millwater Retreat location and that would be set up to all of my cells the main thing is the keywords with locations and they allow you to add well add keywords which are going to specifically tell the game what the location is and they can have big effects like you can say that it's an in type location which would allow bards to play in there for example so that's just a, a quick run through about locations you don't always have to do a location for yourself but it's probably best 
especially when dealing with a large mod. Default acoustic space, this is what you're going to hear in the background, obviously. So, if it was a dungeon, maybe a mine, you can see interior dungeon mine, so you get like mine sounds, you get water dripping, that overall dark feeling to it. So you'd select that. Music type is obviously the music that's going to be playing in the background. And I have got a tutorial, or I will redo a tutorial at some point, uh, for more information on how to actually add your own music in. So I'm not going to do that now, but that's where you can add your own music in. It has water, this is to do with all the water in the cell, I don't mess with this uh, myself, especially with interior cells, but you can go and check out what that is, I'll leave links in the description for more details. Image spaces are quite interesting, these allow you to put certain visual effects in the cell, you can run through those and see what it does, so it can sort of make the colours more vibrant and stuff like that. I don't tend to use image space too much myself, but it can add that nice little extra effect to your interior cells, like a dungeon or something. Force hide land, uh, this is all sort of more detailed towards exterior cells, so I'm not going to go into that in this tutorial. No water, hand change, can't travel from here, uh, these are normal options, can't travel from here means that when you're trying to tr sort of use the fast travel option and you're inside a house it doesn't usually let you, so that's where you can actually tick that off if you wanted. Uh, I'm not sure what those two options do, I'll leave links in the description for the creation kit wiki which is quite helpful. Lighting is a big tutorial in itself, so this is where you'll change all of your lighting options, you'll be able to actually show the sky, so if you are making a cave and you have sort of um, an exit point that you, can, that you can maybe see in the ceiling, and you want to look up and you actually want to see the sky, then you can select what region you want your cave link to, and it'll place that sky above. So if you link that to the winter hold region, then you'd see the sort of weather outside of this sort of gap in the ceiling that you would see around winter hold. I'll go through lighting in a separate tutorial, but for now we know what that does. A template can just quickly set up a nice lighting setup for you without you having to mess with all the detailed options, so that's nice. I usually use default as it makes it completely dark, and then from there you can just add your own light sources and make it a little more realistic, as other setups tend to put light in that's not actually emitting from anywhere. <clears throat> interior data is a really important one the name is what's going to come up when you go up to the load door to open up this cell so if this was a mill then you'd say mill and then when you go to the door it will say whatever this name says and it will say mill so the door will say open mill so there's no need to put open in here that'll happen automatically you just call whatever your area is called in there name it in there encounter zones are to do with respawning and stuff I don't mess with them too much myself uh, mixing up my words a bit here but you can go around with them they're another sort of separate tutorial owner NPC the NPC that owns it uh, once you set ownership then only that NPC is allowed to take items without crimes being sort of committed same with the faction if you want a, an overall set of people in the whole faction to be allowed to access things the lock list, that's a separate tutorial which I might actually go through because uh, that's quite an interesting one. It allows NPCs to open and close the cell and actually lock the door on their way out, preventing the player from getting in. Public area is pretty obvious. Off limits, I think that means that the player is going to get slapped if he goes in, if any NPC doesn't want him in there. And can't wait, prevents you from waiting in there obviously. Direct ambient lighting, I don't mess with that myself. There's not a lot you can really do there with that. That's uh, cells in general. That's how you create cells, edit cells. Obviously to edit a cell you just double click it in the uh, cell view and you can load it up. And sometimes you'll get annoying little errors like this, which <sighs> cause the kit to crash possibly. There we go. If you ever get errors, just ignore them. Most of the time they don't mean anything. I'm going to end up saying that in most of my tutorials. The creation kit is full of errors and you can't fix them all, trust me. So that is how you'd load a cell and then that's where my render window tutorial comes in to navigate around. As you can see some of Bethesda's cells are cluttered full of crazy stuff and I think you can see one of these image spaces at work here with the effects. So that's pretty much it about cells. If you just go to an exterior cell there's a lot less number of options and they're judged more by the world data 
if you do want to just look at the world data world spaces sorry then this is where you'd make your own world space and this is what most exterior cells are really judged off whatever they're linked to here so that's pretty much everything about the basics of the cell view window obviously over here links um, lists all the items in the cell it's pretty self-explanatory the window itself yet yeah, the one thing to mention as well is coordinates if you know the exact coordinates of the location you want to go to you can type them in there and go so it's pretty easy to use that's pretty much everything I think I can mention about cells so I hope you found this tutorial useful please visit the usual websites my antisocial and my main website and that is it. Uh, feel free to leave comments. Thanks very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.